Hello kids, welcome to today's maths class and today we will do line segment, measurement and constructions. Our learning objectives are introduction, comparison of the line segment by various method, measuring line segment to construct a line segment at given length. Next is introduction. We have studied line segment in the previous chapter. The straight line segment is formed when two points say x and y are jointed by a ruler. We call the line segment xy or yx. x and y are called the end points like here. This is the line segment xy and x and y are the end points. And here x and y is a line. Clear? Note. While drawing a line segment, we do not mark arrowhead or to indicate the extension on both sides. Line segment film arrow drawn eagerly. Thus, the line segment is drawn as shown in the figure 9.2, like this. The above line segment also indicate that there can be only one line segment joining two points, say x and y. Some example of line segments are the edge of your table, the edge of ruler, then the edge of your book. These are the example of line segment. Next is exercise 9.1. Subject enrichment. How many line segments are there in each of the following figure? Name of them. So line segment AB, BC is a line segment, DC is a line segment, AD is a line segment, DE is a line segment and DB is also a line segment. B is a line segment, A E line segment, E C is a line segment, and A C is a line segment. Clear? Next is comparison of line segment. Comparison of two line segment means to find if one of the two line segment is shorter or longer than or equal to the other line segment. The line segment under comparison may have vast difference, little difference or no difference in their lengths. We shall study the different method of comparing the line segment here and after. First is comparison by observation. When the difference between two line segment is vast, we by just observing, we can tell which line segment is longer of two. For example, look at these two line segments. We easily observe that, conclude that XY line segment is longer than AB. So here by only looking at them, we can tell that XY line segment is greater than line segment AB. Next is comparison by tracing and superimposing. When the difference between two line segments is so little that the observation method is not helpful, we have to use better method for the comparison, which are as follow. Let x, y and a b are two line segments as shown in the figure 9.7. The difference between these two line segments is so little that by observing method, we cannot exactly tell which one is longer. Hence, we shall use tracing method to compare these line segments. So what are the steps? Step 1. We take a tracing paper and trace the line segment x, y on it with the ruler and the pencil. So first we will take the tracing paper and we will trace the x, y with the help of ruler and pencil. Now we take this tracing paper and place it on a, b such that x is placed on a and the line segment x, y lies along the line segment a, b. So now what we will do? We will take the tracing paper and put it on the a, b so that the x point coincide with point A. Clear? And this x, y, that should be lies along the line segment A, B. x, y, wo A, B pe hona chahiye. Clear? Now, there are three possibility for the location of y on the line A, B. If y is between A and B, we say that the line segment x, y is shorter than line segment A, B. We write that x, y is less than a, b, but this is not true. Here, as it is obvious from the figure 9.8, clear? 
ऑब्वियसली वाई इज नॉट बिटवीन ए बी हैज एक्स वाई कैन नॉट बी शॉर्टर दैन ए बी अगर वाई है दैट इज बिटवीन एक्स एंड वाई दैट मीन्स विल से दैट एक्स वाई इज लेस दैन ए बी इफ वाई इज जस्ट ऑन बी इफ वाई पॉइंट का हो बी पे हो दैट मीन्स दे आर ऑफ सेम लेंथ क्लियर If y is just on B, the other one if superimpose B, we say that the line segment x y is equal to the line segment A B. We write x y is equal to A B. Again, this is not true because y is not on B. If B is beyond Q, we say that the line segment x y is longer than the segment A B. We write x y is greater than A B. This is true because y lies beyond A B. Because y क्या है? A B के beyond है. That means x y is greater than ab third is comparison by a divider you are familiar with the instrument divider which appears as on the right side here let us compare two line segment xy and ab using a divider we place the end point of one arm of the divider x and open the arm carefully so that the end point of its other arm on y In figure nine point one zero a, so like this will open the divider. So the one point should be on x and the other point should be on y. Now we lift the divider and without disturbing the opening, we place the end point of one arm of the divider on P and the other end point on the other arm of the line segment AB. And also there are three possibility as shown below. If the end point of the second arm falls between AB, that means xy is less than AB. अगर उसके बीच में है, तो xy is less than AB. If the end point of the second arm falls on B, that means xy equals to AB. Means दोनों की length equal है. If the end point of the second arm falls beyond B, then we'll say that xy is greater than AB. Clear? So these are the possibilities here. so this way we can compare the line segment the best way to compare the line segment is to measure them with the help of scale we shall now learn to measure the line segment next is measuring line segment measurement for length the basic unit of length in the metric system is the meter most adults are between 1 1 by 2 and 2 meter the meter is two big unit to measure the line segment in geometry there are 100 cm in a meter a new pencil is about 19 cm long and even smaller division of the meter is millimeter the prefix milli means 1 upon 1000 1 cm thus has 10 mm thus 5 cm and 5 mm means 5.5 cm We usually measure the line segment in centimeter (cms). That stands for centimeter. We shall now learn to measure the line segment in centimeter and millimeter. Let us measure the line segment xy as shown in the figure 9.11. We place the ruler with an edge along the line segment xy such that the zero mark of the ruler coincides with the point x. Then we read the mark. On the ruler, which is against the point Y, this gives us the length of the line segment X Y that is six point five centimeter. So, suppose we have to measure this line segment X Y. So we'll take the ruler and we'll point, put the point zero on the point X. Now we'll mark the point Y and read the scale. It is six point five. So the length. of the line segment xy is 6.5 cm due to thickness of the ruler sometimes error creeps in placing the zero mark against x on reading mark of the ruler against y to avoid this error we may use the divider to measure a line segment as described in the figure 9.12 we open the divider so that the end point of one is arm is x and the end point of the second arm is y like this in figure 9.12 a then we lift the divider and place it on the ruler so that the end point of one arm is at zero mark 
and then we read the mark against the end point of the second arm of the divider. Thus, we find the length of line segment x y. Clear? Next, to construct a line segment of given length. We can easily construct a line segment of given length with the help of ruler. For example, to construct a line segment of 4.5 cm, we have to proceed as follows. Step 1. Mark a point x on a sheet of paper or in your notebook. Place the ruler such that zero mark of the ruler is at point x. Mark the point B against the mark on the ruler that indicate 4.5 cm. Join the point x and y with the help of ruler. Thus, you construct a line segment x, y of length 4.5 cm as shown in the figure 9.13. Suppose you have to draw a line segment 4.5 cm. So, you will take the ruler and at 0, you will mark a point here that is point x. Now, scale you read 4.5 is here. So, you will put a dot here that is point y. Join them together that is line segment x, y 4.5 cm. Clear? Next, construction of a line segment equal to the length of the sum of two given line segment. With the help of compass, we can easily construct the line segment whose length is the sum of the length of two given line segments. Suppose we have to construct a line segment PQ whose length is equal to the sum of the length of two line segment of length A and B. We have to proceed as under. Step 1. Draw a line L and mark a point P on it. Now take the compasses and adjust the same so that the metal point is on A and the pencil point is on B of the line segment of length A. Now without disturbing the opening, the compasses places the metal point on P and make a small stroke on line L, which is the pencil point to get the point M. Now make the compasses and adjust the same so that the metal point is on C and the pencil point is on D of the line segment of length B. Step 5. Now repeat the step 3 placing the metal point on M and making a stroke Q on the line L. PQ is the desired line segment whose length is equal to A plus B. So, what we will do? First, we will draw a line L. Now, we will take the compass and edges. We will put one point here A and B. And now, we will put it at point P and just make one stroke. That is point M. Now, we will again take the compass and open it equal to CD and put the compass on M and again make a stroke that is point Q. So, our desired line segment that is PQ that is equal to A plus B. Clear? Next is construction of line segment equal to the length to the difference of two line segment. Take A, B and C, the two line segment with the length A and B respectively, where A is greater than B. Now, we have to construct a line segment PQ whose length is A minus B. So, steps are take a line L and mark a point P on it as shown on the right side. Construct a line segment PM on L that is equal to length of AB starting from the point P. Clear? Step 3. Now, construct another line segment. MQ on L equal to the length of line segment CD but on the left of M starting from M. Now, the line segment PQ is of the desired length A minus B. We may also write AB minus CD equals to PQ. So, what we will do? First, we will take a line and mark a point P on it like here. This is line L and we have marked a point P on it. Now, what we will do? We will construct a line segment PM. Jis ke length kiske equal hogi? That is equals to AB. Start karenge P point se that is equals to PM. That is equals to AB. Now, what will we will do? Now, construct another line segment that is equals to MQ. That is L jo line segment hai uspe MQ ke barabar hum karenge. Now that 
एम क्यू जो है दैट इज इक्व टू सी डी क्लियर एम से स्टार्ट करेंगे जो उसके बीच का डिफरेंस होगा स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द पॉइंट एम से करके हम बनाएंगे नाउ द लाइन सेगमेंट पी क्यू जो पी क्यू है इज ऑफ डिजायर लेंथ जो हमें डिजायर लेंथ चाहिए जो डिफरेंस है ए बी एंड सी डी का दैट इज इक्व टू पी क्यू जो पी क्यू है क्लियर नेक्स्ट इज सम इंपॉर्टेंट ऑब्जर्वेशन A line segment is a portion of line. A line segment has two end point, but a line has not. There is a unique line segment joining two given points A and B. It is denoted by as AB. The length of the line segment AB is denoted as AB. Next is x is nine point two. Subject in region. Measure the length. and the width or the height of the following object in centimeter a postcard so you will take a postcard and take a scale and with the help of scale you can measure its length and width clear some more questions are given here so you will practice all the questions of this exercise here we end the chapter i hope you understand the chapter well now you to practice it